Now to a developing story out of Buffalo's Riverside neighborhood. You saw this breaking news unfold right here on 7 Eyewitness News at 11 on Thursday. Fire crews taming a massive blaze at a vacant warehouse on Crowley Avenue. But neighbors tonight say this isn't the first issue they've had with that massive warehouse, and they want it taken down now. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morse. The neighborhood has been plagued by a dangerous situation forever. Linda Glasgow has lived on Ross Avenue in Riverside for decades, and she's watched this massive warehouse at the end of her street crumble over the years. The roofs started to fall down, the homeless started to go in there, critters started to go in there like skunks, rats, mice. We had a, oh, groundhog, huge, looked like a dog. And last Thursday, a situation that showed just how dangerous things have become. A massive fire started around 10 p.m. City fire officials are investigating and calling it suspicious. Glasgow says it's time something is done. People live here. For us as an older generation and for the little kids that live in the area, we want it safe. A city spokesperson tells 7 Eyewitness News the building is privately owned. Records list James Lunge as the building's owner, but don't list any contact information. Neighbors say crew were out this weekend demolishing the part of the building that was damaged, but they say that's not enough. The whole thing needs to go. We just want the building down. We've waited long enough. If it's a county, if it's the city, I don't care who it is. Or if it's its owner, we want it down. Now I reached out to Buffalo Fire Commissioner Garnell Whitfield to see where the investigation stands tonight. I'm still waiting to hear back. Meantime, neighbors tell me the man that they believe was out there on the weekend was the owner. They say he was working on the site, but only again on that area that was damaged. Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.